amazingly, Elon Musk decides to try to look like he's, you know, fair to both sides, and he is fair to both sides, so that doesn't mean you have to pay somebody millions of dollars to host a show on X, and gives him like a lifeline, a resurrection. And instead of just being grateful, he does all the things that we just discussed. And when Elon says, you know what, I actually don't wanna be in business together, but you can still air your show on X. He, he goes, he talks to Kara Swisher, don't get me started. <laughs> and what does he blame it on? I'm black and I'm gay. Listen, SOT 20. Do you think he was uncomfortable mm. sitting in front of a gay black guy? Uh, probably oh. more gay than black, I would think. I hate to say that, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I mean, know. I mean, having to like, answer questions from. Some... I don't think he likes control beyond himself. And okay. so it doesn't matter who's exerting it. I don't think he much likes Joe Biden either, right? A white guy, right? Yeah. So I think he, he doesn't like anybody in a position of control of him. Uh, so she sees this on the gay thing because she's gay. Right, so it's got to be the gay thing, but of course, I mean to the bitter end. And, then she and I says, do mean no, bitter. That's not true at all. Right, but I, it's like to the bitter end. He's like gay, gay and black. It uh, once again, Emily. It's come back to haunt poor me. It's the only reason anybody could possibly have a problem with Don Lemon. Uh, it's not about how bad he is at his job. And by the way, he is spectacularly bad at his job. He's terrible at it. And that's why he was let go from CNN. He's just not good. Um, it's amazing how he's been able to like climb the corporate media ladder. But this is the perfect continuation of the first segment where we were talking about Ron McDaniel and NBC, it's because this elite media is in such a bubble, they no longer recognize what is sellable. And that CNN had this like moment of lucidity after Don Lemon said something that was so stupid, um, but also transgressed these like identity politics lines. Um, so then they were like, okay, so we can't have this, you know, not only is he dumb, but now he looks sexist. So we're canceling out, you know, their mathematical equation. Uh, it cancels out the gay and the blackness. If you're also sexist, but in a really egregious way, they're always doing these like calculations in their mm -hmm. head. It's it's an inscrutable type of mathematics that none of us can know, but that's what they're always constantly uh, calculating. And so he goes to X, Elon Musk realizes with being face to face to Don Lemon, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> He's yeah. like, oh my gosh, I can't. It's not even good. Like Elon Musk, say what you will. One thing he understood about X is that the censorship was really bad for it. That like nobody wants that on the platform uh, and nobody wants that in their media. There's a, a niche uh, slice of the population and they're the people that watch Rachel Maddow and Stephen Colbert, but it's a tiny percentage of the population that desperately wants to be protected from other viewpoints. Um, and, and that is bad for business, but that is like the demo that uh, Don Lemon thrives with. Um, so that's what he's used to going for, but it's no longer interesting to the public and credit to Elon Musk, he actually recognizes that. He's a small petty man and he turns on his employers, that's obvious. Um, I wanna remind you in the audience of what happened when he signed up with X, when Elon offered him this initial deal. One of the things that happened was Tucker Carlson, in an extraordinarily kind gesture, tweeted out, welcome to X, you know, good luck, something like that. And I did a bit on this show saying, no, no, <laughs> no, no, there'll be no quarter. This guy is not just somebody who was at CNN. That's one thing, that's, that's an entirely different thing than what Don Lemon's sins are. He hate, hates, hates, hates half the country. He loathes Republicans. He said too many offensive things for me to count or list off the top of my head here. And he's shown his cards. So no, I, I would not welcome him to Twitter. And I, I said, I'm not rooting for him. And guess what he did? As soon as he got in trouble with Elon, he took a shot at Tucker Carlson. He took a shot at him. He was like, Elon wanted an easy interview. He should have sat down with Tucker, mentioned me as well, because I am, as you know, known for my softball interviews of people in positions of power. Uh, but in any event, he, the what, so that's how he repays Tucker's kind gesture of being like, you know what, we're cool, let's move forward. His first response is, fuck off, you're a softball interviewer, I'm the man. Which tells us what, Eliana? I mean, it's classless and exactly what I would expect of him. Uh, look, 
I don't think he was fired really because he did a tough interview with Elon Musk, but it's, no. it was bizarre to to uh, to say what drugs do you do and did a doctor prescribe them and what's going on with that. And then the biggest turnoff was the denial of basic things like that CNN is perceived to being as being liberal, that he's perceived to being as being liberal um, and that. I think called into question, like how reality based this, this person is. Debt. You can go to bed thinking about it and you can wake up thinking about it too. Here's the truth. The system traps you in debt. High interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. And insane inflation keeps you stuck paycheck to paycheck. Done with debt can be a lifeline for you. Done with debt has an ingenious new strategy to help erase your debt faster and easier than you ever thought possible. Done With Debt analyzes all the debt options that you qualify for. They know how to reduce bills. They know how to cut interest rates. And their skilled staff of negotiators know how to get debt out of your life permanently, without bankruptcy and without a loan. Done With Debt has experts who can share with you strategies for eliminating debt, but you need to hurry because some debt solutions are time sensitive. Here's how easy they make it. Go to donewithdebt.com. That's donewithdebt.com. Donewithdebt.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.